back in New York for now. Uh, close enough. A lot has taken place in the last, uh, when was the last time I did this? Anyway, I think me being inconsistent with this is gonna be my new consistency. Tell your friends. Since we last spoke, I left Texas and I'm back in New York. And I, you know what? I miss Texas. I could see myself having a life there. Anyway, I moved on. Mind your business. I came back in the beginning of February, which actually I didn't mind coming back. I took Amtrak back instead of like flying because I packed a lot in my big suitcase and it was well over 50 pounds. I took Amtrak back, which it was a great trip. Um, I went through all of Texas and Texas is really big um, I will never get over how huge Texas is like I got on the train at like 9 30 in the morning and we left Texas at around mm, 11 maybe it could have been 8 30 but like I remember seeing 11 because by the time we reached Arkansas it was like the wee bit hours of the morning and nobody was out there which by the way Little Rock is really giving the wrong zoo anyway I didn't mind the trip but the trip itself took two days it took two days for me to get from Texas to New York um, and I had a connection in Chicago and um, getting to Chicago took 28 hours so yeah, 28 hours on the train, like that was not the worst. I don't want to sound bougie, but like um, the coach sections of the trains, now they're more uh, they're more comfortable than like taking flights because nowadays I feel like with flights you're sitting on bus benches, but um, with Amtrak, um, at least they have like the cushiony seats, but then there's that like metal thing in the middle. So like when you try to like lay down or try to, you know, rest yourself, like you feel that metal thing like hitting your back. And so like I felt that when I tried to go to sleep. So I just think next time I'm going to have to get me one of those like roommate things. Um, but I liked the Amtrak going from Texas to Chicago because I found myself this little room that ain't nobody went in. And so like I, I went in there, I did my tarot readings. Um... I did something else. I, I made a song. Yeah, it was a very productive time, but it didn't have a window. I knew where we were because I was on Google Maps, but like, I didn't know where we were. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm on a train, I like looking out the window, even though it's dark and you really can't see anything. I still like to look out the window because at least I get to see, you know, nature. So yeah, the first trip wasn't bad. The second trip, I, uh, it wasn't the worst. Like, um, we went through Kentucky, but I was asleep for most of that. Like, I woke up for a little bit, and I don't remember what town we were in, but we were there. We were in Kentucky. So it was um, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, D.C., Maryland, New Jersey, New York. No, wait, Philadelphia was before New Jersey. So we had all that. I felt like Lizzie McGuire in a sense, but like on a very, very local level. But yeah, it was a really good trip. I would not do that again. <laughs> I don't think I'll do it again. You know, when the Oprah money comes in, I think I'm gonna get a house there. Cause it really reminds me of home, but it's really good to be back home and to um, be in the New York winter. Let me tell you, wait, I've had my first Texas winter experience and wow, it was something different. So first and foremost, Foremost, I had been in Texas for six months and it it gets cold in Texas and I don't think that people outside of Texas like know how cold it gets I mean lately like a lot of people go on TikTok and they're like oh it's cold but like I wasn't there during the Arctic flash that happened in 2021 I was there like during the very low budget version in 2022 um so there was an ice storm that happened and the day before I ordered DoorDash because everybody was going to the stores and they were getting their groceries and everything and I just DoorDashed it because I just did not have a car in Texas I door dashed it and everything was fine. And the next morning, I kid you not, I felt like I was on the set of Silent Hill. There were no cars out. Everybody was in their houses. Like it was COVID, but in the cold. I went outside, I went to the gym cause you know, us Northeasterners, I'm like, okay, it's cold outside. It's not gonna stop me from doing my routine. So then I went, you know, and I went to the gym and in the complex that I was living in, you had to go through two gates and the gates were frozen shut. Like you had to pull up and then pull towards you. Yeah, couldn't even pull up. So I was like, all right. Um, but then I tried to enter this door that like went through the leasing office to go to the gym and this guy was standing at the door and he was trying to hold it shut like, oh, the leasing office is closed. Who's trying to get an apartment the day that it's having an ice storm? Come on now. I was like, hey, no, I'm just going to go to the gym. Then he was like, oh, okay, no worries. You know, the leasing office is closed, but I'll let you in. So I was like, okay, thank you. Great. Um, so then I went to the gym, but then the door 
the, um, the like the gym door that I was at was locked and my key fob was just not opening the door or I guess it was just to another door and that just it didn't open the gym door um moral of the story and so I had to go to the other side so there are two sides to the gym like and they both have doors but the door that I was at I couldn't get in and I had to go to the other side but I had to go like outside to go to this other door so then I <laughs> I went outside and knowing that these gates were frozen and thinking that like the gates can't be that frozen <laughs> i was outside for 10 minutes and i have never felt triggered before like if you thought new york winter was bad texas winter oh my god it's no joke people die in that they die in that and i wish i was kidding but living in texas i learned that um texas is not part of the electrical grid that the rest of america is on and so it's like if things like that happen and texas doesn't really like get snow or cold weather and so when things like that happen it's like it can get very scary very quick i mean it's not scary for me because as i said I'm from new york so I could do that but it was just like it it was something different um the snow it was a light coating so it's very much like if a snowflake hits the ground like they're gonna cancel school you don't have to go into work for a couple of days it was very much that whereas here if it snows we're still required to go to work no two-hour delay like you're still you still need to be in for attendance and i'm like okay what type of scam is that but i learned that their roads are made from a different asphalt than the roads up here in new york plus their cars are just not ready for that type of winter and so i was like okay i took that all into effect um but it, i just wouldn't do that again or i would do it again but just from inside and that's what i did it for like this time around but I, I kind of want it to happen like on a Saturday next time and not d the day that I have to go to a gym. You know what I mean? Now that I'm back home, like it's kind of been the same schedule from me being in Texas, you know, um, nothing much change, just location. But I feel as though that something is coming. You know, I feel as though that I'm going to like relocate again. Um, I don't know where. I don't know when and I don't know how but like I feel like it's gonna come someday somehow I ain't you know, that right well no not really mind your business anyway so that's pretty much that emotionally oh my gosh wow um so a lot of transformation is happening right now in my life like I could sense that I'm going through it but like I'm staying positive right now I'm like going through a really great time right now but I really feel my cancer ascendant I'm not gonna lie like these last couple of days like they've been rough I'm not gonna lie but you know I will say that um it's been I've been grateful for all that I'm going through because I know I'm like taking a look at like everything that I'm going through and I don't I really don't know what's coming but I'm like whatever it's coming like I'm preparing I'm that's English I'm preparing like I've never prepared before you know and I'm just I'm really giving it all I got I feel like I need a baker I'm just really giving it my all and during this time it's really been just a healing journey well it's been a healing journey but it's also been like a self-discovery meets creativity meets um other like, it's just it's been it it's been Ugh, I'm sorry, I just had fish sticks and it was really good. I, I would like to have some more, but um, I probably have some in probably a couple of days, but I'm gonna run. You know, I think that I'm just gonna do this for now on, like every so often, I'm just gonna video because I meant to make this when I first got home, but um, I just didn't. Um, but yeah, now, I, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna go now, bye.